I'm gonna be showing you guys so many simple, easy, and convenient ways to declutter and organize your master bedroom and master bedroom closet, drawers, everything. I don't have a lot of extra time having a newborn and a toddler around, so I'm gonna show you how I'm able to get all of this done in a short amount of time. So I'm actually starting by putting away Owen's bedside nursery. He is two and a half months old and finally sleeping through the night. We got extremely lucky with this little guy. He is a fantastic sleeper. He's also the average size of a four month old. So I think that helps us a little bit. So I'm actually starting by taking absolutely everything out from underneath our bed. I'm gonna be working on putting a lot of my maternity supply into these um, bins that I'm taking out now. So in my last master bedroom declutter and organize video, I used a hand pump on these vacuum seal bags. So this time I tried out an actual vacuum and got even more air out of them and saved even more space. So I was extremely happy with that. Um, I did decide to take a couple pillows out because I knew we weren't ever gonna use them. That way I was gonna be able to have more space to put all of my maternity clothes into these bins because I'm not 100% sure whether or not we're gonna have another baby or not. So I'm just gonna keep them until I'm 100% sure. <laughs> So this is the current state of my closet and I'm going to be taking this in a very simple and easy section. So I'll show you kind of my process of that. I do have our newborn and a toddler. So the only free time I really have is while Cecilia is napping. So right now I'm pulling all of my maternity clothes, everything that I'm not wearing anymore. Thank goodness. And I'm just quickly taking them all off the hangers so that I can fold them and put them into vacuum seal bags to save even more space and put them into these bins to go underneath our bed. I've had some vacuum seal bags that just don't seem to hold the seal and will leak and don't actually end up saving as much space. But these ones I've had for about six months now and I'm extremely happy with them. I got them off of Amazon so I will link them below for you. I also got these under the bed storage bins from Amazon. We have the lowest bed you could probably ever have. It's only like four inches off the ground. So these were the only ones I could find that could fit underneath our bed. And I am extremely happy with them. I think they look great too. So definitely recommend them and they will be linked below. So I've had this maternity pillow for two years and never thought to vacuum seal it. And I finally did and it saved so much room. I'm just so obsessed with these vacuum seal bags. So I'm working on putting everything underneath our bed again. And these are all things I know we will be using again, or at least with the maternity supply, I'm kind of sure we might be using again, but we will see. Um, and then the other items that are in these bins are actually like our extremely heavy winter clothing. We live in Florida, so I know we will not be using these anytime soon. And it's all just underneath the bed, so it's still easily accessible, but also out of the way. So before I move on to all of our drawers, I'm just fixing up my side of the bed again. It is so nice to have my nightstand back. It was a little sad for me to put this area back together. Although I am extremely happy that he is sleeping through the night now because um, I am I feel like such a better mom when I'm well rested. <laughs> so this ukulele and mandolin were actually underneath our bed. They are my husband's and they were in our office before. So I decided to kind of surprise him and put them up on our wall here. This is another corner in our bedroom. So instead of being shoved underneath our bed, they are nicely displayed here on our wall. And I think it just adds a really nice touch here. If you noticed my change of outfit, it is a new day. I can only do this during my daughter's nap, which is about two hours, and kind of put in a little bit of newborn care into that, and it only ends up being maybe an hour to an hour and a half. So I really wanted to declutter this desk. There were too many decor pieces. I really wanted the pens to be inside the drawer, so I just put them in a little organizer that I had already gotten from Michael's. And then I'm just tidying up the rest of the desk and just taking off anything that does not need to be there. 
Okay, so now that I've done underneath our bed, I've done our entire desk area, I'm moving on to our drawers. I'm just going to be doing my drawers because my husband is just as type A and organized as I am. So he actually doesn't like me organizing his drawers because he has it the way he wants it to be. So after I'm done with the drawers, I'm actually going to move to the mess in our closet that you saw before. And I like to just take the drawers one by one. I always take everything completely out first and then work it back in. My side drawer here was a little disorganized and I barely have anything that I really need to put in it anyway. So I'm moving on to these bigger drawers now. This first one I have filled to the brim with all of my PJs. So I'm taking everything out and as I take it out I like to group things together. So I'm grouping all of my PJ shorts together. I'm grouping all of my shirts and all the long sleeve pants together and then I'm gonna go through them one by one. So I have all my shorts here. I can see exactly how many PJ shorts I have and it makes it easier to determine how many I don't need. So I'm making a pile of the ones I'm gonna be donating and then there's a couple that had holes in them and were stained so I end up tossing those and then I'm going to just put them back into the drawer into each section. So I like to put them upright. I believe this is the KonMari method that everybody is using now and I love it. I love being able to see everything as I glance into the drawer and if I wanted to wear a certain pair of shorts, I don't have to shuffle through them all at the bottom and then mess up the drawer even more again. I can just see exactly where it is and pick it out. So I'm going through the same process here. I'm going through all of my PJ shirts now and going through them one by one, determining what ones I'm going to be donating, what ones I love, and what ones just need to be tossed because they're stained and I do not wear them anymore. A lot of my PJ shirts are actually my husband's old t-shirts because they're just so comfortable. Definitely let me know in the comments if you do this too. So now that I'm gonna go on to the long sleeves, we live in Florida, so honestly I don't wear these very often because it is so hot here, but I organize them by the warmest to the lightest and the warmest are gonna be in the back that I don't, I probably will not use until next winter. And then the lighter ones are in the front where they're easier to grab. So this drawer on the bottom here is actually kind of my miscellaneous drawer. It has a lot of my bathing suits in it. It has my like super warm fluffy socks and it also had my painting outfit in here. So it was definitely a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna make it a little more organized even though it's still gonna be pretty like random. Like they don't really go together very well, but so all my fluffy socks are all, all the way on the left. And then the next row over are all my stockings and then my bathing suits. So this next drawer over here is where I keep my shorts and leggings. After my daughter, I still wear shorts a lot. And now recently after my son, I have found the leggings to be extremely comfortable. So they're like the only thing I wear now. Plus they have a pocket on the side. So I always have my phone on me. My phone never fit into like my regular short pockets. So these leggings have been a huge help for me because I was constantly missing calls and texts because I would always lose my phone. And now that I wear leggings, it's so much easier to keep my phone actually on me. <laughs> So we are done with all of my drawers now and I'm going to move on to our closet and I'm going to take absolutely all of my clothes out first and then group them onto my bed. So I'm going to have like all my uniforms together in one area, I'm going to have all my t-shirts in one area, all my tank tops, dresses, long sleeves, etc. I just find it so much easier to go through clothing items when you can see exactly how many t-shirts you have. So if you have like... 40 t-shirts, obviously you do not need that many. And then it's easier for you to look at them all and determine what ones are your favorite that you will keep and what ones are ready to donate. So if you are like me and do not have a ton of extra money laying around for a extremely perfect organized closet, I definitely recommend trying to repurpose anything you can. So this bookcase used to be in our office and um, our office actually turned into my son's nursery. So um, I took that out of there and put it into my closet here the last time I cleaned it out and made it into kind of like my shoe rack and um, 
where I put my bags for work. So it was in need of some extreme straightening up. And then I'm also gonna be moving this shelf down a little bit so that it just makes even more room for all the shoes on the bottom and my bags on the top. So at this point, everything on the bottom of my closet is out of here. So I'm taking advantage of it and vacuuming. Normally I would take absolutely everything out first and then organize it back in. But since I didn't have very much time, on each of these days I'm doing it in little sections which has actually been a lot more manageable so now I'm gonna work on going through each of my piles here I'm starting with the items that are gonna go in the very back of the closet so all of my long sleeves all of my heavy jackets are gonna go in that back corner where it's not as easy to get to because I will not need them as soon as like maybe my cardigans or my light long sleeves that I have all the way on the right there Honestly, I did think about putting things in color order like the home edit does it, but let's be real, how long is it actually gonna stay that way? <laughs> Especially with a newborn and a toddler around all the time. So I put all of my uniforms together and then on the other side of the closet, I'm working on putting all of my dresses and then I put my tank tops, t-shirts. I definitely think it's easier to do this, keeping them on hangers. Do not take the time to take everything off of hangers just to put them back on. So I'm still going through them one by one, deciding what to keep and what to donate. If you have a hard time trying to determine what to donate, I 100% recommend putting your hangers all on backwards when you reorganize your closet. And then the pieces of clothing that you do wear and then wash and then put back on, you're gonna put back on regularly. So in about six months to a year, when you go to clean out your closet again, everything that is backwards is everything that you have not worn. So it's easier to pick out things that you don't wear and those items you should probably donate. It is once again a new day for me. So I'm working on the top of the closet now and if you are limited on the amount of time that you have, I definitely recommend you do it this way. It made it so much more manageable. Even just taking baby steps towards organizing and decluttering your home just a little bit every single day makes a huge difference in the end. So at the top of my closet, I had a pile of t-shirts that just held sentimental value. I was never gonna wear these again. So when this happens, I like to just take pictures of them and then I'm more willing to finally get rid of them and then they're not just taking up space in our home anymore. I had a bunch of boxes from electronics that um, I like to keep the boxes for just a little while and then finally break them down just in case I needed to return them or something. So I'm finally taking the time to break those all down and take out everything um, inside them. So these square bins are 13 by 13 and I'm deciding to put a lot of like my breast pump supplies in one and then I also decided to put all the Easter bunnies supplies hidden in one of these as well and it came in a pack of four so a couple of these are empty and ready for me to put something else into. I got them off of Amazon so I will link those below for you. One of the things I also like doing is taking all of my smaller bags and then nesting them inside the bigger ones so it took up so much less space than before. I'm moving on to the blankets now and every time I go through our blankets I end up getting rid of one more and I've been so good about not buying any extra ones. My husband called out my blanket addiction and I've been trying to be better so here it is. I got rid of one more blanket. I'm very proud of myself. My next spring cleaning video is actually going to be of our laundry room and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I'm actually going to be adding a ton of storage in there and one of the things I'm going to be doing is moving all of our linens into there. So um, I cannot wait to share that with you guys. But um, I like to put all of our sheets that are in sets inside each of the pillowcases. It helps keep them all together and it also looks so much better when they're on the shelf. I love when a space looks fantastic, but it also needs to be completely functional. So this is one of the tips I 100% recommend. I always end up having little projects stuffed away in my closet. So I'm finally getting around to this one. 
This is our picture frame full of all the signatures from my husband and I's wedding. I was not obsessed with the black frame anymore. I didn't really go with our room. So I'm finally taking the time to one, put these hooks on so I can hang it on the wall. And then I'm spray painting it gold so that it matches everything else in our room. But I'm gonna be putting it in my closet here. And then I also went shopping around our house a little bit and got a couple more decor pieces just to finish this space up a little more. If you got some motivation from this video, please hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. I'm making a ton of spring cleaning, decluttering, and organizing videos right now. The next one, as I mentioned before, is going to be our laundry room and I'm going to be completely redecorating and adding storage and different things in there. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys. It's going to be such a satisfying video. If it is already up, I will link it here. But if this video just came out, it might take a week or two. So bear with me, subscribe, and keep an eye out.